Okay, so let's talk about, so this is one of my design artifacts. This is the sort of stuff that I do to communicate, as I said earlier, when I communicate to um, audio engineers, sound designers, uh, composers, and so on and so forth. What I'm trying to communicate is what I want people to feel across a space. So again, what I'm not doing is saying, can you put a little kind of song there in a major key that sounds a little bit like whoever, right? That's not my role. My role is to kind of talk about the experiential journey through a 3D space. Actually, I do this in real world spaces with real world experiential as well. And so this is a drawing that I did for a project I did in 2020 for Rita Aura. It was an immersive music video that I did. Um, and this was just a quick scribble of one of the rooms. And this was this was literally the work that went out and went to Rita or, Rita or herself to sign off. It's pretty simple, just me scribbling on an iPad. But what I'm trying to say there is that at one end, you've got a kind of an, an ambient mood using sort of like more kind of just sort of bass stems or something a bit more kind of bassy and kind of lower. And then kind of cutting across when you get to the other side of this singular singular space in this VR experience is that we start to kind of mix more things in and start to kind of bring up the energy essentially but it's talking about how do we how do we translate what we want people to feel into a a design artifact that's going to be handed off to composers now many of you at the moment will be kind of working on your own right so you might you're probably most likely going to use these sorts of things just as a sort of a note to yourself when you're kind of thinking on paper you're not using it as a design document to hand over but out in the real world you're almost always going to be working with other people and particularly like external composers so you need artifacts like this to very very quickly and clearly articulate what it is that you want to achieve so you're not just getting on a phone call and kind of doing it verbally for now you're probably just going to jump straight into unity and have a play that's prototyping that's fine you can do that when you're a, a one-person band um, but when you go wider on the team and you need to explain to customers, you have to explain to, well, in this case, pop stars, but you need to explain to kind of composers as well. These are the sort of drawings. This is literally one of my drawings. I thought I'd, I'd share it uh, so you could see see what I did. And also just how simple it is, right? It doesn't need to be that complicated. I sometimes just take screen grabs out of Unity as well and do it. 